So ring welds have actually become incredibly powerful in the game. Hey everyone, how's it going? So one of the things I like about Stellaris is you can get a really big empire and you can get a really big population, but that also creates a secondary problem. You can sometimes suffer from overpopulation. So in this video, I'm going to look at some ways that you can deal with overpopulation. So guys, if you're authoritarian, you can enslave. And if you choose domestic servitude, well, let me read you the tooltip. Domestic servants that are not holding another job will be employed as servants, increasing amenities. They cannot perform ruler or specialist jobs with the sole exception of working as entertainers. If you have a very large population, you can employ a number of slaves as basically entertainers. This will increase the amenities. Another solution, which is actually better in my opinion, is to go with egalitarian. What egalitarian enables you to do is utopian abundance. In fact, you can set everyone to utopian abundance. Unemployed pops will have normal happiness and will produce unity and research points. So this is incredibly powerful, right? If you can afford to keep the population, as in consumer goods and food and whatnot, then you can basically have an almost unlimited amount of unity and research points from your unemployed population. Now I'm going to be looking at a machine empire solution because one of the problems I had with machine empires was you would build up a massive population and then you wouldn't really have anything to do with them and they just kind of became burdensome. So this also works brilliantly well with any population. Organic pops work very well with ring welds. However, the machine empires have a certain advantage which makes ring welds incredibly powerful. Basically, when you start a machine empire, you really want as much population growth as possible. Choosing something like rapid replicators, mass produced, drone campaign, and the machine assembly complex can all increase the production of new population. Additionally, I'm a driven assimilator, so that means I want to take as many different populations as possible and basically assimilate them like the Borg. One thing I've noticed recently is cyborgs can actually live on machine welds and this didn't used to be the case. These biological pops have got very high habitability on this machine weld so perhaps cyborgs are allowed to stay on a machine weld now. Now bear in mind I did start off with my initial home weld being a machine weld and I started off as a driven assimilator so that basically means that I've got biological pops who are cyborgs from the beginning of the game. So guys, as you can see, as my population got pretty peaky, I kind of changed my civics so that I'm no longer rapidly replicating any droids or anything. I also changed the schematics of my main population so that pop assembly speed was minus 15. Now this actually very usefully unlocks other useful traits which I can use for my machine population which give big advantages. So ring welds have actually become incredibly powerful in the game, especially for main em machine empires. So each Nexus segment gives us 80 housing, which is absolutely huge, gives us 40 maintenance drone jobs and 10 tech drone jobs, so these will supply us with 60 energy, 40 unity and 200 amenities. Now the reason I'm getting the unity is because of a certain perk I chose. So maintenance protocols will actually give me one unity for every single maintenance drone. One of these segments will provide you with 40 maintenance drone jobs. Now bear in mind, I believe at this stage you can have an unlimited amount of ring welds. So in total, if you go for Nexus segments, we'll give you 200 maintenance drone jobs, all of which produce unity. It will also give you 50 tech drone jobs, which is absolutely massive guys. And I'm actually getting a huge amount of energy credits now just from this ring weld. So this is actually a very viable strategy. This also enables you to resettle um, a huge amount of population. For example, if I go here, um, this is my habitat 
section, right? So I'll go here where they have unemployment and I can simply transfer over the population back to my habitat ring. The population potential here is absolutely phenomenal. So an entire ring world with Nexus segments would hold 1,600 population. That's huge. In fact, that's most of my population for the whole empire. If you get a few of these up, right, then no matter how big your population is, you're going to be able to deal with it fairly easily. There is another way of dealing with overpopulation. On worlds, you can go with cease drone production, right? That will stop any drones from being produced. Another thing you can do is you can enable biological controls enabled, right? So this will actually stop any biological species from having babies, basically. So the population will remain stable. And once you've set this, you can simply hit reset to default and it will reset all of the biological life forms to default of actually having population controls. Another solution that works quite well is actually building habitats. Uh, habitats can generate a large amount of energy and research. So if you're going to go down this route, what I recommend you do is you have your planets focus on mining and you have your habitats focus on energy production. This split enables you to produce far more resources than you otherwise could. Lastly, guys, make sure that you've got no migration controls on, okay? Now, migration controls will obviously stop people leaving a planet, and this can cause problems with overpopulation. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe machines are actually capable of moving to other planets on their own. If that is the case, you certainly cannot see the option here to allow them to move by themselves. That would be a very useful option, actually, because then any new housing would automatically have people migrating to it. So, guys, if your population is free to move about as they please, what you can do is if you choose a low population planet where you want more people to go to, you can actually choose distribute luxury goods. Distribute luxury goods will encourage people to move to that planet. And this is actually a cheaper way of getting more people to the planet where you want them. And they'll also go away from a heavily populated planet where you don't have distribute luxury goods. So the last option that I thought I should mention is if you have slaves in your empire and you want to get rid of them, if you click on alloys at the top here, guys, right, you might notice this tab down here says slave market. Now, this won't be on at the beginning of the game, but you will get this later with the Galactic Exchange. So if you click on slave market, you can either buy slaves, which will go to a planet, or you can click sell slaves and so let's choose that one for example put on market and so other empires will basically buy these slaves off you you'll get some resources for them so again this is a valid strategy if you want to get rid of some of your population you can simply sell them and finally 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 guys you can also choose discourage planetary growth this won't entirely eliminate any kind of growth, but you'll see a population growth reduction of 75%, which is pretty huge. People use 25% more amenities and you'll have to pay 25% more population upkeep. So this really isn't a very good solution. So your best solution is to probably enable population controls. I can't currently enable population controls because I've got population controls prohibited. If you wanted to hypothetically turn that off, you would go into policies and you would go to population controls down the bottom here and you would click allowed. If you do have any other ideas about how you can control population, please leave a comment in the comments. <laughs> it would be really appreciated. So thank you very much, guys. I think that pretty much covers everything I can think of to do with population. So I hope you found that useful. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll speak to you soon.